Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Can I hear your name, please? What? What's your name? Addison. How old are you, guys? Seven. Seven? You go to school? Yes. How's school? Good. Okay. What bring you here today? I fell off my skates and hurt my knee. Oh, sorry to hear that. What you need? Which knee? Right one. The right one? Mm-hmm. Was it really painful? Yes. Yes? So when did that happen? Four hours ago. <laughs> okay. What, what, do you, what were you doing when it happened? Skating. Skating? Okay. Is there anything that makes your pain worse? No. Okay, have you been taking any medication for your pain? I gave her ibuprofen. Okay, so does it help? Did it stop the pain when I gave you ibuprofen? Yes. Okay, and uh, is there anything that makes your pain worse, like walking or doing anything? Walking and bending my knee. Okay. Has this happened before? No. Did you hurt yourself anywhere else? No. Did you have pain and anywhere else, like in no. your arms or head? Okay. No. No. Okay. So uh, now we can do a physical examination. We're going to start the examination for her, so we're going to start to check like her head, her eyes. Would you like me to take? Yes, please. Okay. Alright, Doc, what would you like me to do? Uh, can we check like the, her head, please, if there is any uh, physical wounds in her head for trauma or fall or anything like that? Can we check her any change in vision? Alright, Annie. I'm going to touch your head now, okay? Okay. Let me know if it hurts. Any pain? No. Okay. Her head is um, normal cephalic, atraumatic. No lumps. Oh, no lumps. Is the eyes and ears? Um. Alright, Addie, I'm going to shine this line through your eyes. I want you to look in my nose, okay? Okay. Pupils are equal, brown, and reactive to white. Okay, I want you to focus on my nose and then look behind me at the wall. Behind, then focus back on my nose. Alright, accommodation is intact. Good job. All right, let me check your ears, okay? I'm just going to take a look. Okay, and then let's check the other ear. Okay, great. And let me check your nose. Just tilt your head up. Okay. All righty. And then can you open your mouth for me and say, ah, ah. and stick your tongue out? Good job. All righty. Um, the H-E-N-T exam is within normal limits. Okay. Well, we'll explore the ocean. Yeah. So, can you please do the auscultation of the heart for me? Yes, ma'am. All right, Annie, we're going to take a listen to your heart now, okay? Just breathe normally. Okay, good job. Okay, she has a regular S1 and S2, regular rhythm and rate, and no rubs, murmurs, or gouts. And can you also change the auscultation of the lungs? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Addie, we're going to take a listen to your lungs. Can you please take a deep breath for me? Good job. One more time. Very good. One more time. Mm-hmm. One more. Okay. 
No wheezes, wrong cut, or rails. Okay. Uh, can you uh, please open her abdomen, please? Okay, Addy. Where I need you to lie down for me on this chair. Let me get the rest. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Um, can I uh, pull your dress up? That okay? Okay, let me just see your belly, okay? Oh, this is great. Okay, I see no scars, no rashes, um, no redness. I am going to listen to your stomach now, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Would you like me to palpate the stomach or percuss it first? Uh, because of first, please. I'm going to tap on your stomach now, okay? Okay. Okay. Her bowel sounds are present and her abdomen is tympanic to percussion. Uh, would you like me to palpate? No, that's enough for me. Okay. I'm going to pull it back, okay? Let me help you sit back up. Can you pick the big nerves for the nerve exam? Uh, pardon me? Did you do the deep tendon reflexes? Um, any particular reflexes you would like me to check? Underneath. Okay. I, I need you to scroll up. Oh, okay. Here, here. I just want you to relax. I'm going to tap on your knee, okay? Okay. The reflexes are present. Okay. Are you able to bend the knee uh, to check like if there's any pain or anything? Or just okay. Would you like me to check the range of motion? Yes. Please. Okay, Addy. I'm now going to move your leg, okay? You just relax and let me do the job. Very good. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay. Let's try this leg now, okay? Does it hurt? Ow, ah, uh, okay, I'm not going to do this again. Yes, there is tenderness on range of motion on the right lower extremity. Okay, so I think I'm going to... It's fine, it's okay. Okay, I think we're done with the physical exam uh, for mom. Uh, so we came here today just to make sure about uh, her knee. Uh, we check everything for the physical examination and everything seems normal. Uh, you give her ibuprofen to help her like with the pain. Uh, so the assessment right now is nothing we have to worry about. We don't have to go uh, like further to do X-ray or any CT around. Uh, I think uh, we can just continue the ibuprofen just for the pain. If there is any fever or swelling or anything, we can go uh, uh, with Tylenol with it. And then I'm going to talk to my team physician and confirm with you what is the plan for next. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Do you have any question for me? Um, no, I'll wait till the doctor comes in. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, this is Marco. Can you please send Dr. Watts in? We're done with the physical exam. Thank you. Come in. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Dr. Watts. Hi, Dr. Watts. So I know that my student has seen you all already, so I'm just going to discuss with them the case and then we'll go forward with what the plans are. Okay. Hello. Hi. So, can you present the patient uh, to me, please? Hello, Dr. Watts. Uh, okay, seven years old girl. She came uh, to the office complaining of uh, right knee trauma. It's been four hours ago. Uh, she complained about the pain, uh, especially when she walked and get worse. Uh, mom, she gave her ibuprofen. It does help with the pain. 
for the vital signs, everything uh, seems normal. Uh, physical examination for the head and eyes and the abdomen, everything seems normal too. No tenderness, no pain, uh, no pain elsewhere in the body. Uh, no past medical history. Uh, so the assessment uh, just trauma from the fall down. This is the first time it's happened to her since it never happened before. Okay. All right. So. Hi. Hello. Hello. So my student saw you already and has told me that you were here for knee pain after skating and that it's a little bit better with ibuprofen, but it sounds like your physical exam, there's nothing on there to be too concerned about. So I'm just going to double check the physical exam, but I agree with my student's assessment and our plan, Mom is going to be that we will continue to just give you some ibuprofen as needed um, over uh, over a period of time as you need it. We're still going to have to redo that. <laughs> so, so my student saw you and presented, and it sounds to me that you do not have a fracture of any area of your knee or your leg but you did injure it, so it's definitely going to hurt for a little bit. So we can give ibuprofen for that as needed. I'm just going to wash my hands and double check your physical exam, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. Did my student do okay? Yes. Okay, so I should keep them around. They're doing a good job. Okay. All right. You're the boss. Hello. RTIMG Clinicals are introducing... Telehealth, telemedicine rotations for medical students and IMGs who are interested in continuing their clinical experience. These rotations offer the opportunity to have a clinical experience in internal medicine, pediatrics, OB, and other specialties as an option to perform away from a remote location as we are entering into a new phase in the delivery of medical care, telehealth and telemedicine. On these rotations, the students will attend them from a remote video conferencing telemedicine platform in the room with the patient and they will conduct the interview with the patient. They will direct the physical medical assistant with the physical exam in the room with the patient and then formulate the assessment. The, they will then discuss with the physician the presentation, they will present the patient, and they will discuss the initial presentation, the physical exam findings, and present their assessment, and can discuss with the doctor, depending on their level, also their plan, where they will subsequently finalize the management of the patient. By participating in these rotations, you will be eligible to receive an exemplary LOR for your application to residency programs.